Hi. Um, so uh, we're planning to do a, an update um, for the partial CAD. Uh, this will be mainly uh, uh, fixes to some shortcomings that we've had and that we've come across. Um, but in the original Matera release, there was um, a hidden feature um, that's been improved a little bit. And I'd like to just quick uh, quick show that to you. Um, so this will be a, um, some build after 245 in the next couple of weeks. And um, let me first uh, add this to the settings, add the, uh, the secret flags. <laughs> so it's uh, show add relief to import a refractory UI, um, and also add outer points to refractory. Um, and I'll explain what those mean in a second. We have those um, enabled and we restart. Okay, so now that we've um, restarted, I'm going to load a scene um, where there's been a particular problem with, with, the, with the offset. So, uh, in this particular case, somebody's importing a bar and um, they've added, they've used the major connector to, um, to add a secondary over the bar. And the original complaint is that they were not able to um, set the relief of the bar, and that was indeed a, a shortcoming um, that I wasn't even aware of. Um, when you change uh, the static relief uh, here, it actually wasn't affecting the major connector as it should. So that has now been fixed. Um, however, you get better results if you go about this another way, uh, getting the relief another way. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the auto relief off. We only really need it um, under this uh, area here, under the bar, over the bar. If we go into the ported part settings, and um, this this is actually the bar here. We set it to active. Now we have this this UI is has been added by that pref that I uh, showed you. And we're going to do apply relief, and we're going to set that uh, to the six uh, sixty microns that uh, that he wanted. Um, now notice, uh, since I un undid the, uh, the safer build step, um, I can actually modify um, the block out and it will be subtracted. So I don't, I don't have to start over to, to apply this change. So I'll do this, convert to wax, and then we'll take a look at it um, in edit block out and see what, what has happened. And now you can see that it has, um, it has added uh, this the sheen, this which is is the uh, the sixty microns of block out um, to the to the bar, and basically giving you the offset. So now, if we go back to safer build, we we're not going to need, like I said before, the auto relief. I'm only going to turn off the tolerance um, because I want to uh, show it in Mesh Lab, and I'll get better colors if there's more triangles. So let's uh, run this. Okay, so it has completed now. Let's uh, take a look, uh, see what it looks like. So we'll go to the imported parts. We'll turn on the uh, the bar. We'll turn off the jaw scan, and we'll turn this guy way down like that. And uh, you can see the offset here. I'll uh, make it a little bit. Well, we'll we'll, we'll open this up in Mesh Lab. Get a better idea. But uh, but you can see that there's basically now now an offset to the bar, and um, just to confirm that it's um, really 60 microns or at least uh, very close to that, we will start by opening the bar here. Then we'll add the okay we'll add the partial framework. We'll do our little set fix quality Q. And we'll do our filter sampling Hausdorff dot one close, turn that off, turn on 
psychedelic bunny. Okay, so now you, you can already tell by the histogram um, that the uh, main offset is uh, is a little bit over um, zero. 60 microns here, 62 microns for some reason. So, and if we look in here, we basically see that it's a, it's a uniform offset. There's a little more offset in these areas. The one thing I don't like is uh, that you can see that in the sharp corners here, um, it is uh, there's a little bit less offset there. At some uh, point in the near future, I'll remove that um, in the safer build step, but at the moment it's something you need to be aware of. It's because the um, the partial engine, the uh, voxel engine, is uh, very good at organic data, but it's uh, it's weak at um, very sharp edges. So um, if we, uh, obviously the the bar is, is has a very sharp edge. Now, if you're going to smooth off this edge anyway, um, then it's not going to be an issue. But obviously, the, um, the, the more uh, standard way to do this is to do the, the secondary um, with, the, uh, with a dental CAD. Um, and let me just also show you again here. So if you look, look at the side point, you see that it's a little bit tight there. And as you move this along, um, you can see how it changes a little bit in that corner. right? And that is the, uh, that's a little bit of noise in there. All right, that's what I wanted to show you.